warnings. Local drive in. Lady, nice lady, said my car since I hit her. She was whizzing down the main road the other night, and there was a deer carcass in the middle of it, but like a rotted, nasty one. And um, traffic came the other way, and she couldn't stop to avoid it, so she had to drive over it. And then ever since, the car's been leaking. So um, we're just going to try and cop it up so she can at least drive it to Volkswagen, because it's going to need a fuel tank. But I'll, I'll show you this, this is pretty impressive. So, uh, it's a 17 plate polo. So, as you can see, we have a tub under the side of it. She said she parked it in their garage yesterday, and um, it now seems to be out of fuel. <laughs> the reason it will be out of fuel. You've seen that there. That's a shattered lump of deer leg bone. But I'm assuming probably leg bone, bit of rib maybe. Clean through a plastiche Volkswagen fuel tank. So, what I'm going to attempt to do now brilliance because basically it's pretty much out of fuel let's extract this lump of leg bone out of my fuel tank it'll be interesting to see how much is actually in there because she is stuk and then let me have a good pull on it and see if I can get it out I've got it out there isn't anything left of it it just shattered and crumbled into bits which are now in my drain tray so somehow look at that to try and get that to be fuel tight so that we can take it to someone else, not us, obviously, because we don't good cars, um, to see if we can put a fuel tank in it. If you'd like to go and look at the brilliance of my repair. I'm guessing that's... Don't know what that is. That might be a bit of, bit of gear there. Deer yeah. It doesn't smell too bad underneath there, so there's no bits of juicy deer stuck to it. Ooh. I know, I used two-pack bumper glue yeah. A pair of pliers and a <laughs> torch to wedge it up there. That's some serious wedge. Is that, I, are those pliers going to be stuck to it? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Shh, shh. They're just pushing it in the hole. If they are, we can extract, extract the pliers. I think that, that might it stop leaking fuel. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. And whether that two pack glue actually sat in fuel, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. It's got, he's gone off. Well, I'll be all right then. I'm not going to take the pliers away. Well, I think I'll, I'll, you put the kettle on, I'll get brave and take the pliers away, and then we'll push yeah. the petrol in it and see if it leaks. Yeah. I mean, that is like African bush repairs, that is. It's, 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 not a, it's, not a, it's a temporary... Temporary fix to get her going get so she can going. take it to someone else. We've opted Terry in for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah he, was, he was chuffed about that. Well done, Terry. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Love that. laughs>